Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. I'm so glad you dropped in today. Uh, we're continuing working on the carrier for the MTD tractor. Today I'm going to try to lay out and make the or start to make the box that goes on the back of it and uh, we'll see how we make out. My thought is uh, <clears throat> I'd like to make a frame. I'm probably going to make it under this three quarter inch plywood because I have some stock on that. I make uh, just a flat frame with a couple of cross members here that will support it and, uh, and and then we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is make a sketch of what this frame will look like. So I'm going to sketch out what I think this base is going to look like. First of all it's going to be a rectangular shape and this is going to be 23 and this is going to be 15 inches we're talking here. So if we make the rails two inches, and then I'd like to have a couple of cross members through here because this these are going to connect to the brackets that mount uh, into the into the mount. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to rip some stalks. I've got my pieces cut out here now for the base. So this is the way they're going to go. Uh, these two cross pieces here, cross members, they're the ones that are going to be supporting the whole thing because my brackets are going to be mounted to these. So I'd like to put those under so then this whatever goes on here is being supported by this and then we'll put the, the end ones on the top like that as well. So what I want to do is join these together with half lap joints. So orientation is going to be important through all this. So what I want to mark is I'm going to put an arrow here and say this is the tractor. And this is out. Uh, this is going to be uh, the right side looking at it this way. So this is going to be the right. So this is going to be the right outside. And this will be the left outside. And this will be the right cross member. And this will be the left cross member. And then if I point the arrow this way, then the arrow will always point towards the tractor. Alright, I think I got that kind of figured out. <laughs> So now we're going to draw a line right here. We're finished drawing my line right here and right here. So this is going to cut out. This is going to cut out. We're going to do the same over here at this end. And that's cutting out. That's going to get cut. So I'm going to continue to mark these up that way, lay them all out. Okay, uh, what I have is I have a piece, a scrap piece of wood here in this. Uh, it's a mortise and tenon jig that I made a long time ago. Uh, so I have a scrap piece there. I have another scrap piece here. I'm going to try and cut some half laps. So one of the first things you want to make sure is that you're blade is square. These are, uh, that's as thick as my rails are, so I set the height of my blade to be that high. And then I adjusted the mortising jig just to cut down the center line. Uh, we're going to cut a sample, just see how it fits together. What I want to 
to do here with the chop saw is just adjust my depth of cut. We'll only cut that shoulder off a little bit further. Just about like that. So I need to have a sacrificial fence in back here. Okay, let's test them. So that's feels good there. Feels good there. So I think that's a good height. It's always a good idea when you're making the cuts like that to test them on a piece of scrap. And then as long as nothing changes, you should be good. So I have my table saw set up now to cut the cheek cut here. And then my cross cut saw to buzz that cheek off. Okay, so we have our uh, half laps cut here. And they fit pretty good. But what I have to do now is cut out a couple more half laps here for the cross members. Right? So I put my cross cut sled in here. I need to set the depth of cut, so I take the sample piece that I had and I lower my blade until it just runs over that. Now, uh, because I have these pieces marked here, I'm going to just transfer the lines to the face there and the face here because I'd already marked those out. So now I'm just going to plow that out with the blade. Now I'm going to take a chisel and just neaten this up a little. And then take my cross member and see how that fits in there. Kind of snug, but I think it's going to be okay. Alright, we're going to try and do a little assembly now. So we have, this is the right cross member, so that goes in here. And in there. And this is the right outside piece that goes there and there. This is the uh, left cross member, and that goes there and there, and this is the left outside piece that goes there and there. I wonder if I shouldn't put another piece through the middle, that way I don't have to make this real heavy duty. That might not be a bad idea, eh? put another piece through the middle. I think I could, look, I could put one right in there, cut out of that piece, wouldn't lose any more wood. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop now and cut that piece up really quick. Okay, so we're going to glue it up. I've got a bunch of clamps. And uh, we're just going to use ordinary wood glue in this. And to start with, I'm going to take these and these away. I'm going to flip this over and do these joints. What I want to make sure of here is that I get lots of glue, like up on the shoulders too and everything. So Now I have to remember that this is towards the tractor. This end is towards the tractor, so this goes this way. I remembered! One of the beauties of a half lap joint is all the surface contact that you have when you glue up your joint. So if we have all that surface contact, con, uh, surface, contact surface, <laughs> we may as well make sure there's glue on it, right? This is the tractor out here, so this one goes this way. Something like that. Now we put some clamps on that. Okay, now we do a quick check just to see if this is kind of halfway square. We do it up here from that corner to that corner is 27 and a half. 27 and a half, look at that. Something wrong there. So once again I put a liberal amount of glue on these joints. Sticker time again. Ah boy, I love sticker time. And look at my wall. I'm getting quite a little collection. But you know, I've got a few spots left. <laughs> so check out my About tab on my YouTube homepage.
Get my email address, send me an email with your mailing address, and I'll send you away a sticker. Honest, I'll do that. Anyway, uh, I went to the post office this week for my weekly trip, and I got some stickers uh, from Bruce's Shop. What a channel, Bruce's Shop. Bruce is a small engine mechanic, and he can fix anything, I'm telling you. Uh, he's, he's fun to watch, he's comical, he's got a really good sense of humor, I love his sense of humor. And when he makes a repair, it's like it's his own little darling machine that he's had for years. He's so careful and considerate of what he does to the machine. Like, you can take it in because you want an oil change, and he'll check the plug and he'll sharpen the blade on your lawnmower or anything like that. He just won't let it go until he's totally satisfied. So that's great, Bruce's shop. And there's this nice sticker. And you know what? That little uh, emoji or avatar, whatever you call them in the sticker, that looks just like them. <laughs> Anyways, Bruce, thanks very much for the sticker. I'm going to put you up on the wall here. I think uh, this is a good spot for you, right there. Bruce's shop. Small engines. There's no such thing as a small engine that won't work if Bruce is around. Welcome to the wall, Bruce! So here at the uh, tractor with my brackets on and my pins in place, this now will sit on here. I'm going to uh, center this on the brackets as best, as best I could and then mark this here at this end and then along here and along here and then with those marks I'm going to take my brackets off and then I'm going to secure them to the bottom of the of the uh, base here. So what I did was made a couple of spacers. I know that the distance between the inside from here to here that distance should be about 14 and 3 quarters. So if I set that spacer up there and there and then measure this distance that's a little bit more than 14 and 3 quarters so that should be good. I don't want it to be too tight, right? And then this little spacer I made will go at the back to provide the proper spacing at the back of the uh, bracket. So that's where my bracket is going to be located. So I'm going to get my pencil and put a couple of marks here. So now I know I can put a couple of uh, screw holes in here. So I'll do the same on this side. I'm going to drill a couple of uh, countersink holes. And the same over here. So this is the front right right. So I'm just putting some glue on here now. And then we'll locate this on here, smear it around, get my little spacer again. Put my spacer behind here. Make sure this is uh, on my marks. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Try this on the tractor again. I uh, redid these screw holes so that the screw wouldn't interfere with the pin hole in the back. So, and then we screwed those on and glued them. So, let's see if the pins fit now. Uh -huh. They do. Now, does this one fit? Oh yeah. Tight, but that's all right. It'll probably loosen up.
I don't know if it'll hold 200 pounds, but it'll probably hold a chainsaw. So I was concerned that maybe the uh, carrier was sticking out the back too far. But as you can see here, I have the trailer on and I have it swung around probably in its worst position. But there's still lots of clearance in there. There's, you know, four or five inches. So it's going to work good, I think. I had this case. Uh, used to use those to put blueberries in. That case fits on there not too bad. And now it has built-in divider too, eh? And it's a pretty beefy case. I mean, they're meant to be thrown around a blueberry field. So what would you think if I just put that on there? Not quite as wide as I'd like it. Like this way. It's deep enough this way, but not this way. So I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go with this uh, blueberry box put on the back of here. So I'm going to put uh, a couple of holes here and here to hold it. And we see what happens. So. And I've got some washers I'm going to put on these screws just to sort of help give them a little bit more bite. What do you think? So here's the pouch that I use a lot for putting my tools in when I'm going on jobs. Fits in, <laughs> fits in there pretty perfect. I like it. All right. There, I think that base is going to be nice, eh? Good and solid, good and sturdy. Uh, I was going to put a wooden box around it. But I don't know, I think this little plastic blueberry carrier, blueberry box is going to work good on the carrier. Uh, those blueberry boxes are rugged, they're tough, you know, they're, they're, they're made to be thrown and tossed around the blueberry fields. And uh, since blueberries are pretty popular in Nova Scotia, or in the Maritimes in general, that's the Maritime connection on my carrier for my tractor. Maritime, accent on Mary. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is going to work good. I think I have one more video to go in this. And I have a little uh, feature that I'm going to put on this carrier. I hope you like it, but stay tuned for that. That should be out in a week or so. In the meantime, take care, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm sure I'm glad you dropped by, too. Please leave me some comments. Don't forget to thumbs up me. And I'm almost at 2,000 subs, so uh, I need a little boost. So if you haven't subbed already, how about clicking the subscribe button? Sure would like that, and it would help the channel a bunch. Take care everyone, stay safe, we'll talk to you soon.